So this Friday or Saturday, depending on where you live, we're going to have Ross Levine versus Smiling Sam Alvey. The King returns. The uh, absolute giga chad that is Sam Alvey. The fucking monster among men, Sam Alvey, is going to be returning to the karate combat. What the fuck do you even call it? It's not even a ring. Uh... Arena, let's just call it Arena. He's going to be returning to the Karate Combat Arena against former glory kickboxer Ross Levine. Uh, you know, he is the Karate Combat Champion. Uh, he's fucking, you know, a former glory kickboxer. Uh, has some really nice highlights, some really brutal wins in Karate Combat as well. Uh, so, I know this might be a bit of a hot take here. Like, this is going to be a very hot take, but I'm going to be taking Ross Levine here. I think he will get this one done over Sam Alvey. Uh, it's just a hunch I have, you know. You know, I know Sam Alvey is the GOAT. Uh, you know, not many people have been able to defeat Sam Alvey. When you look at it, like... You know, only 18 people have been able to uh, defeat Sam Alvey. So, you know, he's a deadly fighter, you know. He's a dangerous man, is Sam Alvey. But all Sam Alvey really has is a pullback counter. And I mean, I said this when he was making his Karate Combat debut. Like, oh, no way he's going to win in Karate Combat. But I mean, he went in there. He got a pullback counter KO. So, you know, he sort of proved me wrong there. But I don't think it's going to work here against Ross Levine. You know, Adam Rosa is just a karate fighter. Hands down, you know, Ross, Ross Levine is also a karate fighter, obviously, you know, he had a big career in, like, point karate, I believe, but also the guy is, like, a genuine fucking, like, powerful guy, uh, has wins in the glory kickboxing, like I say, he has a kickboxing background, as well as fighting in karate combat, having a bunch of karate fights, like, I just think he's a lot better in just striking than uh, Sam Alvey, and we got to take in that Sam Alvey... You know, the guy has taken a fucking shit ton of damage over his career. Like, like let's be real. Like, Sam Alvey has been brutal, got brutalized by Michelle Olachechik. I know he's won two fights since. You know, Sam Alvey is on a two-fight winning streak in combat sports. But, like, he beat a fat heavyweight dude who's like a journeyman, whose nickname is literally the Big Mac. Has a fucking photo of him with a Big Mac on his Tapology page. Like, the man literally doesn't train. He just eats McDonald's. You know, the man loves his Big Mac so much that he made it his nickname. Like, really? We're going to rate that win highly. Uh, and then, obviously, he beat the uh, aforementioned Adam Rosa. So, it's like... I don't know, man. I'm not... I'm not going to rate them win too highly compared to Ross Levine, who... I'm pretty sure Ross Levine was the guy Sean Strickland got brought into his camp. Might be remembering this wrong... I might actually, I might be thinking of somebody else actually, especially because Sam Alvey uh, and Sean Strickland have been training together for this fight. But obviously, regardless, Jesus Christ, I never noticed on Sam Alvey's tapology page that he has hashtag perfection on his chest. Jesus Christ, that age well. But anyway, <clears throat> all respect to Sam Alvey. The guy's a fucking, you know, he's willing to fight everybody. I mean, let's look at the guys he's lost to, like, got KO'd by Anth. Well, let's just say Little little Nog. You know, he got KO'd by Little Nog, got KO'd by Jimmy Crute, lost to Clidson Abreu, uh, arguably beat Ryan Spann, arguably beat Darn Young as well, got rear naked choked out cold by Julian Marquez, went to a split decision with Wellington Terman, got choked out by Brendan Allen, uh, then got absolutely fucking decimated from pillar to post by Michelle Olachechik. And then uh, got KO'd by Derek Brunson. You know, the guy's chin... It's been cracked a few times, and I, I just, I just can't not see Ross Levine going in there and cracking his chin. If we're being honest, like I would be shocked, I would really be fucking shocked if he doesn't crack Sam Alvey's chin here. Maybe it goes to a decision. I just think Ross Levine is so much better everywhere. I think maybe Sam Alvey's going to be a lot bigger than him. I know that this is for the heavyweight championship, but Ross Levine is like a welterweight, right? Like. I know his karate... Like, what's he weighing in for this karate combat? Like, he had a fight... He was fighting 185, 185, and then in glory kickboxing, he was a 170-pounder. Like, the guy's not that big. He's not a huge guy, 5'11". You know, Sam Abbey's 6'2". Uh, former heavyweight. 
I mean, he's also a former world champion himself, but he's fought at heavyweight recently. Like, Sam Elvey's a big guy. He might actually... Like, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a lot bigger than Ross Levine in there. But I don't think that's going to matter. I just think skill-wise, uh, Ross Levine, much better, more technical, you know, has such a, like, big, big history in striking sports. Like, obviously, Sam Alvey is a striker. He's a powerful guy and everything, but it's a lot easier to get a pullback counter on, like, some wrestlers than it is to go in there and, like, beat an actual, like, glory kickboxer level guy. Like, let's, who 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 is he be? Who's Sam Alvey B? He went to a split decision with John Valate. He did beat Marston Pracnio, though, who does have a sort of karate type background. And Marston Pracnio is actually, like, not bad, because Pracnio did beat Khalil Rountree, but still, he, like, walked right into that. That was a really weird one. And then he KO'd Kevin Casey, Eric Spicely. Oh, no, that was a submission. So he doesn't actually really KO too many people. You know, you have to go back fucking to 2018 before he's KO'd anyone decent. I mean, he did KO that guy in his last fight, I guess. And he did get a ground and pound finish to Cameron Graham, the Big Mac. But, like, he's 6-12 and 12 and he's morbidly obese. So I'm not going to really rate that one too highly. All respect to the Big Mac, though. But still, I'm going with Ross Levine. I think this is a pretty safe pick, especially Sam Alvey's even older than Ross Levine, like Ross Levine's not super young, he's 36 years old, but even then, Ross Levine has the youth advantage here too, taking way less damage, like, you'd have to think this is just a Ross Levine massacre, but who fucking knows, karate combat is like, like, it's a weird level because it's such a new sport, like, you just don't know with these guys, like, the guy that Sam Alvey, he, he's completely smoked that guy. So maybe Sam Alvey is actually like a high-level fighter in karate combat. But I guess we're going to have to find out. But I'm actually excited for this fight. Hopefully Sam Alvey's jaw doesn't get rebroken. You know, I feel bad for Sam Alvey. The guy seems like a really nice guy. So it, it's not good to see this guy take so much fucking, like, insane amount of damage. Like, this guy takes some fucking brutal beatings. But still... I'm going with Ross Levine. I think he's going to get this one done. But if you made it this far into the video, make sure you give this video a like. Let me know your thoughts on this matchup. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Put on the notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.